Huh, I'm at like 72 subscribers. I better think of what I should do for my 100 subscribers, but... What? Well, guess I gotta think something of something on the spot before I hit 200 subscribers. Uh, I wanted to thank all of you for your support on the last video. I wanted to get that theory out there and I'm glad that so many of you have opinions on it. It really makes a girl like me proud to finally gain some traction with the algorithm. <laughs> anyway, time I addressed a Spamton in the room. Pippislover1997 and the comment I allegedly deleted. I did not delete that comment. I assume it was, ironically, flagged as spam, harassment, or maybe bugged. Maybe some weird YouTube censorship. But I am outraged that they delete the comment as it completely goes against what I wanted for the video. He made some valid points and I'm going to state them all here. To save the truth. As, as all that's left is this really, really blurry screenshot. 1. Chris's end of the deal was death. As Spampton literally says, Take this deal and you will die. Uh, that's pretty cut and dry, honestly. 2. Spamton was manipulating Chris from the very start to get what he wants. Every single interaction is all Spamton manipulating them in his favor. This makes sense. Spamton is spam mail, which is all about being manipulative. 3. Spamton didn't die. This is probably the biggest hole in my theory and I probably should have addressed this. Uh, Spamton doesn't literally die. He just can't function without his strings. And thus has to turn into an item for Chris and the party in order to survive. I was using die in more of a death of the body kind of way, and I'm sorry for the confusion. 4. There's something about Tenor and how Spamton wanted the soul to take revenge on them and such. I didn't really mention that in my theory because it wasn't really relevant to it, so I won't go into that here. But feel free to read the comment on the screen about, like, Tenor and that. Also, Spamton is a malicious advert. An advert which is known for being, well, malicious, and Spamton easily could have manipulated Chris and it would fit that description well. 6. The soul making Spamton less 3 might not be true, because Chris is a human and Spamton is a darkener. I actually realised this after making the theory and my response is, you are absolutely right. We don't know what happens when a darkener absorbs a soul and we don't know specifically what is controlling Spamton. The, your deal has failed, doesn't necessarily mean Spampton feels hurt and betrayed. Also completely valid. We can't tell Spampton's emotions, I was just theorizing that he felt betrayed by Chris. 8. Spampton tries to get away from Spampton Nero before the fight. Something I should have brought up, as it was Chris that stepped back, not us. Which pokes a pretty big hole in my theory. 9. Finally, Spampton literally sold Chris a torture device in order to help them commit a massacre to further his own goals, which is pretty evil. Uh, makes Spamton's betrayal seem all the more likely. A anyway, point is, I want to hear your opinions and I'll never silence you. If your comment gets deleted by a stupid algorithm, let me know. I'll make sure your voice is heard. Also, Terraria is coming soon, just gotta move over some files and stuff to my new PC, which also means I can make better content. Anyway, subscribe. Bye-bye.